Uh, Coach Lester really wanted us to set, set the tone from the start of the game, and we did that on the opening kickoff where we uh, hit the uh, returner, made him fumble, and Obi picked it up and went and scored. So right from that point, you know, we set the tone for the rest of the game. Oh, I was just excited because as soon as I saw it in the air, I knew I had to go get it. I knew somebody on our team was going to get it. So that was what we talked about from the beginning of the, of the day. So we just wanted to go out there, set the tone, and we did it. I felt good. Um, and we were just really taking what the defense gave us because um, they know we have a good running game, so they're going to load the box. So we had to loosen them up with some deep throws. Uh, it keeps It's high and it keeps growing. Um, we keep getting better every week, and we're going to look at the film tomorrow and see what we can do better, and we're going to keep making that comfort level rise. Uh, yeah, maybe, um, but, I mean, we still have however many games left to play in the MAC. So, you know, obviously this is a great victory, but we still have many more to go to get to where we want to go. I thought the, the first play when the guys came out and we, we got – I mean, I, I heard the guy that knocked it out was actually uh, their own player. And Obi scooped it up and scored, and, and it was good because at that point we had the momentum and we never gave it back. And that was probably the most important thing is is um, we had Alan Hughes talk to our team this morning, our uh, newest member of our Athletic Hall of Fame and uh, ex-football player. And, uh, and he said we had to set the tone on the first play. That was the most important thing. I did not know it was going to go quite like that, Alan, but I hope they listen to you like that every week. Um, but, uh, you know, after that, I thought they, they held the momentum and, uh, and they played 60 minutes. That was the biggest thing is not, not having a lull after a start like that, and they didn't. Yeah, you know, uh, everything's by design, you know, to, to, to grow a young quarterback and get him to, to, to not put him in too many bad situations. We're going to need him to make some plays in some situations as we go forward. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean we want to throw him to the wolves. You know, and Kevin did a great job of keeping him in good situations. And on third downs, we were seven of, I think it was seven of 13 on third downs, which is huge, uh, over 50%. And, um, you know, he's running the offense well. He's reading things right. They're making adjustments right. We had unbelievable field position all day, you know. So, uh, and that helps the offense. I think some of their yards always struggle when we, our average starting spot's like 40 going in. You know what I mean? Because of uh, what our special teams has been able to do. So, um, but he's growing every single time. He's getting better. He had three touchdowns a day. A couple deep balls. I mean, that was really the last thing that needed to come along is that deep ball because he uh, it was a great deep ball. But uh, he had a little bit of adrenaline on Saturdays. He overthrew the one D early, and I sat him down. Just said, "Calm down." You know, once you get that done, and then he hit two more over the top. So I was happy to see that step. I've been waiting for that, and. Um, so I'm happy for him, and, and uh, he's going to just continue to, to get better. And having that running game and a defense playing like we are, it, it, uh, it protects him, you know, which is which is what you want. You hold it as long as you can, you know. Yeah, the guys on the offensive line are kind of shuffled in. Yeah, I mean, by eight minutes left in the third quarter, about halfway through the third quarter is when we started rotating. And then you, then you saw him a little bit more. You know, he got in the backfield a couple of times late. Um, but Chooks did an unbelievable job. You know, I was in Chooks' ear all week. Um, to the point where I don't think he, he wouldn't even talk to me yesterday. You know, like he was sick of me. And um, and he did exactly what I thought he would. He went out and played great and and uh, and wasn't afraid. And, and the, the speed, Chooks had unbelievable feet, you know, and he's big, long, and uh, and and took took that, that guy out of the game, you know. And he made a play here and there, you know, but he ran some plays down from the backside. But uh, John was clean all day. Had time. There was not there were holes for the running game, you know. And uh, I thought offensively it was extremely efficient, and uh, they didn't turn the ball over, which is my number one thing. And uh, and that's you know we talk about building consistency, you know. And I, I think you start seeing it a little bit more every week. Coach, well, I mean, he's been in for over a month. We just haven't called any of the plays, although I couldn't tell you that uh, till today. Now that we have put him in. Um, we really haven't had the situation to put him in in the first two games. We, we didn't have anything from game one. Game two we did, but we were always down too much. Um, after that, we decided we still worked on plays every week. We just didn't uh, run them, you know. Uh, we didn't really against Idaho and Wagner. We didn't really want to use it quite yet. So it was planned, which is good because every week we use it, we add a couple plays. You know, he was upset today because even his second and third series that we had planned got canceled because the way the game started, he only really got his one shot. 
and we had been practicing a, a lot more than that, you know. Um, my job is to get the players, uh, the special players we have, we have a lot of them, the ball. And if they're going to keep kicking away from him, I have to find ways to have him have touches, you know. Um, I hope people go, keep kicking to him, you know, but if they don't, we have to find ways to get the ball in his hands. So uh, he's an extremely talented kid. He knows – he knows a lot of our offenses. We've slowly put it in over the last month, and um, today was a was a glimpse of some of the things he can do, and uh, and we'll definitely not be afraid to do it more. You, know, you mentioned earlier. Uh, I don't know. I know it, it's not going to change the target. It might make it bigger. You know. Um, you know. My 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 story to them was that it's a, you know, it's a blessing, not a burden, to have a target on your back. Everybody else would like to have one, and. Uh, you know, I just kept, I kept telling them, give them what they want. You know, they, they want, they want, they're expecting to see a champion to come out there and play like a champion. And I just said, make sure you don't, don't let them down, you know? And, um, and I thought they did. I mean, being able to hold momentum for 60 minutes is a hard thing, you know, without anything going the wrong way. And, um, we overcame some penalties and, um, and I was, I was proud of the way they, they put 60 minutes together, which we didn't really ever see to the fourth quarter of Idaho of where we put all three phases, put it together. And uh, and now we're starting to get to the point where, where uh, we can count on that more and more. The defense played great. I mean, for, you know, there's obviously added incentive with Coach Doust, you know, being there last year. And I thought they came out, they played. But you still got to play discipline. They, they, that, those running backs are good. Dunner and that number four, I think, is a talented kid. And uh, we have to tackle. And we got better tackling today against a better, a, a better team than we faced last week, you know. Um, I thought we got after the quarterback. I thought we made him uncomfortable in the pocket. Uh, number 12 is a dynamic player, you know, that we knew they were going to move him around. So we had, we had checks depending on where 12 was. And we did a good job. A couple times he didn't go down. I don't know how he didn't. He's like Gumby. And, um, but I thought we did a good job of flying to the ball. And even when they had drives, t today was, my opinion, the first time we got to understand that when they get in the red zone that we need to bow up and hold them to field goals, you know, and up to that point where I think we had struggled with that a little bit. And today, every time they got down there, our guys, you know, they, I think they, you know, they buckled down a little bit and, and held them to field goals. And, and that's, that's huge. You know, what were they in the red zone? One to two, uh, with, a, with a field goal. So, uh, you know, that's, that's going to be big for us. If they're, if they're having to settle for field goals, then, uh, in a close game, that's going to mean, I know it didn't mean anything today, but it's going to mean something. Whew, I get, learn about Buffalo. I know their quarterback's good, really good. He's the cousin of Asante, Asante's cousin, so I know him well. Um, you know, he's a big, long. I know he was hurt a couple weeks ago, but he's back today, I think. And uh, I don't know if he played today. I'm going to find out. And uh, get to know them. It's a hard place to play. They're a physical team. Uh, I know their coach well, played against him before when he was at Whitewater, you know. And uh, and it's a – there, I, I just always know Buffalo is a physical running team, and uh, and that's what we we claim to be as well, you know. So uh, we know it's going to be tough. We're going to have to travel out there. Um, you know, we're not going to be able to bring have the, our home field advantage, which we've had the last three weeks. It's been very comfortable. Uh, so there's definitely some new things that we need to be prepared for mentally. And um, but I'm looking forward to getting out there and and uh, and continuing to norm this team and continue to figure out what our normal is, you know, and. Uh, and watch them continually grow. You know, we're a, we're definitely a work in progress that's going to continue to to find the weaknesses of that we have and try to get better at them. And uh, but the target's not going anywhere. So I know we're going to get everything they got. You know, and so uh, so we're going to have some days to get ready for that and get on a plane and, and go play them.